Hi, welcome back. We're going to carry on with the bivariate data project, looking into the extras that you can build some depth into your project with. And this time, we are looking into the possibility of investigating nonlinear models. So if your data follows a nice, smooth, straight line, that would be a linear model. And it means that your graph would look something like that. A straight line would go nicely through your data and model it well. Um, now, in real life, that rarely happens. So oftentimes we're looking for other models that might fit. And you saw in the run through of the video that I did before, we looked at doing piecewise. So splitting that graph into two different pieces that each separately followed a different straight line. You can also investigate whether it might fit um, a, a curve as well. Now, on NZ Graph, you've got some options of trying out different curves. So down here, if you think that it doesn't fit a straight line, you can try fitting some different ones. So a quadratic, you can click on quadratic and it finds the best approximation of a quadratic curve. Um, and in this case, it's just one portion of it. So a quadratic, actually a full quadratic graph would look like this. Um, and you might have data that does something bit like that. Uh, it would be a little bit more symmetrical if we're being a bit proper about it. Now what NZ Graph has done on our carrots one, it said, okay, well, if you want me to fit a quadratic, this is the best I can do. Um, and it's giving us the right hand portion of that curve. Um, you've also got the option of doing a cubic. Now a cubic graph looks sort of something like this. Um, it might have a flattened out piece in the middle, but it goes somewhere along those sorts of lines. And this clearly is not a cubic graph, but you can tell the program to try out do a cubic and it will give you a portion of um, a cubic graph that, that fits the data as best it, as it can manage. Um, next, you've got um, some more different types of curves down here. You've got exponential, uh, logarithmic um, and a power curve. So they would be if you see some kind of pattern in your graph that looks like these ones. So if your set of data visually looks like it might be following one of those kinds of curves, you can try out that model on NZ Graph instead. Now the exponential and the power curve actually look fairly similar to each other. You can try out each of those if you think that it matches that sort of shape um, and see which one fits best. So over here, if you think it looks like a quadratic or a cubic, or this is the one for exponential, this is the one for logarithmic, and this is the one for the power curve. Y equals X is a little bit redundant. That's if you think it'll be a straight line exactly on the diagonal of 45 degrees where um, every value of Y will be exactly equal to the X. You're unlikely to need that one at all. Now, what you can do once you've picked um, a model that you think fits the best, then you can go on and do the residual stuff with that as well, just like um, I showed you on the previous video on residuals. So you can go to residuals plot and say, for example, we've decided that instead of a linear model fitting best and in fact your weighted average curve can give you an idea that a linear model might not be best if it if it follows a really clear trend where it like has a, a dip like this a big dip that probably means it would be better with a quadratic or something else um, so down here we change the regression type to the one that we chose to be a better fit perhaps it's the exponential one and you can look at the residuals against that curve instead. This might give you some indication of whether your your new different model is actually fitting better than the original one or not. So maybe the quadratic one is better because our, our line is kind of going closer to um, the zero line, the, the regression line that we've picked on that one. And you can compare what it does with your predictions and everything, just like you did, um, like you saw on the last video. And again, a reminder that your visual inspection is the most important thing, not just clicking on your residuals graph, and seeing what you think um, looks like it comes out to a better calculation. Don't try and fit a curve to the graph if you don't think that it visually looks like it should be a curve. You want to carefully consider that and not just go for a curve as like a, a default setting of what you're going to do next in your project. It might not fit and it will make your project look worse if you try to fit a curve to it that shouldn't be done.